Hey YouTube, uh, ladies man here, and I'm going to teach you how to get any app that you want for free, like any um, app store app. But the sad thing is that you do need to have a jailbroken iPod, so or iPhone. You you need to have one, so you can't just get them uh, for free without um, having it being jailbroken. <clears throat> now first. As you can see, I'm on the 3.0 software because I got Spotlight, and um, just to just to show you that I'm on it, um, go to About. Now, as you can see, right there, version 3.0. Alright, um, now let's get out of that. Now first, um, what you need to do is you need to go to Cydia. As you can see I have it right there. Now, um, I, I, I don't know if it's just me or my iPod or what, but um, I have noticed a slight improvement with the speed of Cydia um, with the new 3.0 firmware. But... Um, it could just be me, but I believe it's it's going way faster. They improved the 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 speed of it. <clears throat> Probably from all the complaints people have been been giving, but um yeah. Now sometimes I get like a blank screen, but it'll it'll load up if I wait. But I don't I don't feel like it. So first you're gonna go to manage. You're gonna go to sources. And you're going to add the source, go to edit, add, now um, I'll type it in and then you'll, you'll be able to see it, you go at C-Y-D-I-A dot H-A-C-K-O or U-L-O dot U.S. Now, um, that's all you need to type in. Okay. Then once you do that, you click Add Source. But since I already have it, I'm not going to. And then it'll pop up with like a little a little box right here that says Add Anyway or Cancel. Just click Add Anyway. It's not going to matter. Then once it's done, uh, click Return to Cydia at the bottom and then click um, done okay now as you can see a new source will pop up right here called hackulo.us click on it and it'll give you this um, all these little packages that come inside the source now first thing that you're going to need to do this is crucial this is the most important thing get AppSync for operating software 3.0 first you need to get that And, and then um, go up here to install and let it install the whole package but I must warn you if um, if you do not reboot your iPod after you get this after you install it it will mess up and you will have to restore your whole iPod so I rec I I it is important that you reboot your whole iPod like hold the home button shut down wait for it to fully shut down and then, and then reboot itself then after that you go down to install this uh, you get that that is the program that will give you um, the free apps just go up there click uh, install and yeah that's all you need so now go back to the home or go back um, to your apps and um, go to the app install us <clears throat> once you're in there um, that you you're brought up to this home screen now um, there's there's a couple ways you can do it first you can go to search just in case like you know the the app you want you can search by it alphabetically, but I highly doubt you don't do that because you can't just go, um, there won't be like a little bar that says A, B, C, D, E, F, G, stuff like that. You have to actually go through every icon, and it's it, it's really retarded. 
And second, um, you can go by browse newest apps or browse newest updates. Um, newest updates is probably the best one because it has like all the newest apps and the newest updates. So um, I don't even know why they have this third one in there. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go to search because I I want this app. Uh, I'm gonna get the creeps. And then search. And uh, as you can see, first one, the creeps. Now go to it. And just scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the... What you're always going to want to get is the very top, top one. The version that is the newest. Because that has that's the best one. Now as you can see, it's divided up in two sections. Into two sections iPod friendly links and other links. What you're always gonna want to do is the iPod friendly links because if you don't do if you do the other links then it's not gonna download properly. So let's go to this one, I guess. Cause I like this one, this one's fun. It gives you like a little math problem that you that you need to do to um here watch you'll 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 see. See, 9 minus 5, just click the box, and it's 4. Preschool math taught me that. Then, it's gonna, you're going to come up to this screen, and you're just going to look for the download button. Right there, big bold letters, download. And it's going to say download or install. What you're going to want to do is click install, because this will download the file, and then it'll install it for you without you having to go all the way down here after it's done downloading and click the download button. And then um, I'll come back when it's done. Now as you can see it's done downloading and it is um, decompressing the archive. Uh, which means that it's um, installing it on the iPod itself. Um, now that it's done. You uh, go back to your home screen, and as you can see, um, the creeps right there. Now, um, what I recommend you do is that you need to restall your or er, reboot your iPod after every um, after every app download, so that they run smoothly and everything. And because um, if you don't do this, there will be a lot of bugs and a lot of crashes with the app. <coughs> so. Better be safe than sorry. Well, um, if you like my tutorial, uh, comment this video, <coughs> rate the video, and subscribe to my channel for more. And um, my goal is to hit at least 300 subscribers um, in by two weeks. And if I do that, I will have an iTunes card get, gift card giveaway. Um, so. Just keep that in mind, and <clears throat> uh, um, tell me to all your friends who have YouTube channels, stuff like that, to subscribe to me, because I really want to hit 300 subscribers. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.